Hi friends. Last day of letter E today. I hope you had fun and learned a lot this week about what to do if you have an emergency. And I hope you made the escape plan with your family and you learned all the safety rules with the game that we sent home where you could match the safety rules to be safe and not have an emergency. And you had fun practicing stop, drop, and roll and knowing when to call 911 and hearing that 911 song video that I sent. Um, today, Mrs. Merrill is at a real fire station and she's doing a video and she's going to edit it. That starts with E. And then we'll be sending that out later um, once she gets it all edited. But she's there right now um, making that video and meeting real firefighters. So since she's out there, I'm here at school and I'm going to read uh, the book called Firefighter, Fred the Firefighter, since she's there. Because they help us if we have an emergency, don't they? This is written by Felicity Brooks and illustrated by Joe Litchfield. This is Fred the Firefighter. His job is to put out fires and help people when they have an emergency. Fred works at a fire station with a crew of other firefighters. Pete is their captain. So this is showing all the firefighters down here. And that's the captain. When Fred arrives, he puts on his uniform. Pete makes sure they are all there and he inspects their uniforms. Now it's time for a drill. This is when the firefighters practice all the things they need to know or might need to do in case of an emergency. Today they are practicing with the rescue ladder. They check all the equipment, hey that starts with E, uh, and the tools on their fire engine. Engine starts with E too. They have to make sure everything works right. They do this every day to make sure that it works properly when they need it. At last, it's time for the firefighters to have lunch. Did you know the firefighters eat lunch at the fire station? They do. They have a kitchen there where they eat. I'm starving, says Judy. She unwraps a sandwich and is about to take a bite when, ring, the fire alarm goes off. They rush to get ready. Pete tears a message off the printer and he yells out, There's a house fire on Randolph Avenue. There may be people inside. So see them getting ready. Mike and Judy heave open the big station doors while the others jump on the engine. They, then as soon as they're all aboard, they're off. Pete turns on the siren and the flashing lights. The big red fire engine zooms through town. So it's kind of a map where the town is. Have you ever seen a fire engine zooming through our town? They can smell the smoke as soon as they arrive at the house. A woman and a little girl rush up to them. We got out, but the door slammed shut and our dog Patch is trapped inside. The woman tells Pete and she's very upset. They all hear barking from somewhere inside the house, and Pete quickly figures out what to do. So this mom and daughter are really following a super important safety rule. They got out of their house quickly, and they did not go back in to get the dog. You, after you get out of a burning building, you never go back in. The firefighters wear special um, uniforms so they can go in and save the dog. Steve and Anna go inside to put out the fire, and it's very smoky, so they need their breathing apparatuses. They put on their face mask. The others work from outside to try to rescue Patch, but first Fred has to smash open the front door. Crash! The locks break and the door crashes open. Thick black smoke pours out. Steve and Anna go in with their hose to attack the fire. It's in the kitchen at the back of the house. Out 
outside an ambulance and a police car arrive. Everyone watches the firefighters as they work. So the ambulance worker and the policeman are also people that help us in emergencies. The police uses tape to stop people from getting too close where the firefighters are working. Look, there's Patch, shouts the little girl. He's in the bedroom. See him looking out the window there? Get a ladder, calls Pete, the firefighter. Fred and Judy carry a ladder up to the house. Please save Patch, begs the little girl. Begs the little girl. I'm sure he'll be fine, says the police officer. Judy holds the ladder while Fred climbs up to the bedroom window. He feels excited, but also a little worried. Lots of people are watching him as he climbs the ladder and reaches the top. Fred looks through the window and sees Patch. I can reach him, he shouts. Get your visor down, he calls to Judy, and then he smashes the window with his axe. Fred clears the, all the broken glass away, leans through the window to rescue Patch. <coughs> Excuse me. Just as Fred reaches the ground, Anna and Steve come out. The fire's out. <coughs> the little girl hugs her doll. Excuse me. A dry spot. Better get him to the vet, says Fred. The firefighters get ready to leave. Pete goes to find out what started the fire. Judy rolls up the hoses and Fred puts all the equipment away. A pan of eggs started the fire, Pete tells Fred. He's holding it there in his hand. That reminds me, we still haven't ate our lunch. The eggs. Did you like that book about firefighters and how they help in an emergency? So be watching later. Um, we'll post the video of Mrs. Merrill at the real fire station. Have a wonderful weekend, friends. And do something else that starts with E this weekend. Exercise. Okay? Exercise starts with E and it's good for your body and your brain. Bye.